Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. This video describes how to use the built-in date and time functions in Microsoft Excel to perform date and time calculations. We will start by explaining the two-day function that return the date based on your system clock and doesn't include the time. Then we are going to discuss the now function to return today's date and include the time. After that, we are going to discuss another type of date and time function that are able to extract a component of a time. For example, returning the hour part of a user's specified time or return the minute part or the second part of a user supplied time. And it is the same idea when extracting the component of a date, like extracting the day, the month or the year from a user's supplied date. Then we are going to talk about how to perform a calculation with dates. For example, how to return a date that is specified number of months before or after an initial supplied start date. Or to calculate the number of working days between two days using the network days function. First of all, and before using the Excel date and the time functions, you should know and understand the way Excel stores date and time. Excel stores all dates as integer and all times as decimal fractions. So, Excel dates and the time are actually stored as simple numbers within Excel. It's only the formatting of a spreadsheet cell that causes a number to be displayed as date time or date and time. If we type here number one then we choose another format for formatting cell like short date. Number one is considered as the first day of January from the year 1900 and the same will be when writing a serial of numbers then converting it to short day format. It will return successive days serials starting from 1st January from the year 1900 to the date of today. Let's cut it short and let's learn how to use today function here in cell I24 and see its serial number after that. Start by typing the equal sign as usual in all Excel functions. Then type the word today. Excel recognize it and we can click on the tip and close brackets without entering anything between brackets. Then hit enter. This is today's date and if we convert it to general format it will bring me the serial number 42243. This is the serial number of today. Let's return all of these dates above back to general format. This is the serial number starting from the 1st January of 19th century. The same idea as mentioned previously. Times are stored as decimals between 0 and 1, which represent a proportion of the day. For example, 0 equals 0 hours, equals to 12 o'clock at midnight when applying a time format. 0.25 equals 6 o'clock. Point 0.5 equal 12 at noon. This is simply reflect on the hours part of the time. And to be more accurate toward the minutes and the second, you can type a fraction composed of five digits starting from the smallest five digit fraction with 
which represents the first second or the first moment in the day to the largest five digit fraction which is 0.5 digits filled with 9 that represent the last moment of the day that was the way excel stores date and times as numerical values now let's move on to date and time functions and the first one i just want to start with is using the two day function to insert the current date in such a way it always updates even as you open and close your file in column a i want to put the current date so clicking the cell then typing equal sign and write today or you can just hit on the tip after the open bracket you don't need to enter any data just to close the bracket then hit enter under that i want to enter both the current date and the current time also the now function insert both date and time click on cell b27 and start to type equal sign now in o w open bracket then close the bracket without entering anything between them now we have the current date and current time both in the same cell now let's try to close the program today then open it tomorrow and see how it reflects tomorrow's date let's open the file and see how it indicates today date it indicates 28th of august instead of 27th of august and also for the now function it also adjusts the time as it adjusts the date so that was how to insert a dynamic date and a dynamic uh, time inside excel by using today or the now function now let's move on to other category of date and time function that able to extract a component of a day or a component of a time let's hit on column k beside the supplied time and insert the hour function clicking the tip and it requires the cell in which the date or time is supplied clicking j6 in which the time is supplied then close the bracket and hit enter it returns zero because the time is 12 am the first hour in the day and if you copy the formula down to other times you can see that it can extract six from the second time supplied because it is six o'clock and so on for all the time supplied and as you can see in the last time it returns 23 that's equal to 11 o'clock at night the same idea will be when using the minute and the second function to extract time elements click l6 and insert the equal sign and insert the minute function here it also required the time supplied from j6 then close the bracket and hit enter here you can see minutes is zero except the last one the number of minutes is 59 and here you can insert the second function and click the tip then click j6 and close the bracket it returns zero for all the time supplied because all of them contain zero second except for the fourth time entry 
in row 9 it contain one second and the last time entry in row 24 because the number of second is 59 and as with all excel functions it can be updated if the data entry is updated you can see here the result reflect the new time entry so let's do the same and repeat the process for extracting the day element or the month and the year element but at first let's convert these dates back to date format instead of the general format let's choose the short date format yes and now we are going to extract the day element from the date supplied in cell i6 by using the day function and typing it then open bracket and insert i6 and close the bracket then hit enter it returns one this is the first day in january and so on for all other days down and the same for the month function it requires only the date from cell i6 then hit enter so it brings me the result of january except for the last date it is in august and the last one is using the year function to extract the year from i6 it returns the 1900 year and the same for all the dates down except for the last one which is 2015 so all of these function requires only one argument which is the cell in which the date or the time is supplied the last thing i want to show you in this video how to do some calculations with date for example we are going to study the network days function to calculate the number of working days between two supplied dates let's type equal sign and network days select it from the suggestions it requires a start date end date here's the start date in cell b6 then comma and hit on c6 which include the end date and if you have any number of holidays that you know between these dates you can insert it if not leave it and close the bracket immediately then hit enter it will calculate the number of working days between these supplies dates and the same will be if copying the formula down the next function i'll show you e date function and here i want to calculate the date 20 months after the start date so i will stop on cell g6 and start to type the equal sign and e date then open bracket and now the start date is from cell b6 then the number of months is 20 then close the bracket it brings me and returns the specific date 20 months after that start date and the same will be if copying the formula down thank you for watching edubedia world videos see you at the next video